Mi nombre es Jimena. Tengo 24 años. 24? God damn, are you sure? You sure you're not 42 and just got them damn digits mixed up? I mean, don't get me wrong, you're a pretty lady and everything, but I just thought you was at least a good damn solid 37. Baby, you need to slow down. It's like you're living life a little too damn fast. Stop chasing them damn waterfalls and start chasing a damn puddle or some shit. Esa sala me la dio Mai. Este es el comedor. Me lo dio también Mai. Esta es la nevera. Me la dio Mai también. Esta estufa me la dio Mai hace como un mes. También me dio la licuadora, la picadora, cafetera. Why don't you tell Mike next he can give you a damn spa day so you can go in and relax? Looks like you've been under a hell of a lot of stress lately. <laughs> Now, Mike, I know you're new to this whole Spanish thing, but let me give you a hint. The answer to every question is not C. You don't get your ass in the world of trouble with a woman like Jimena saying yes to every damn thing. Oh lord, the chemistry child. I can just feel the heat radiating through the damn screen. So much heat and intensity. You can feel it radiating through their clothes. It's on fire. Hell, I'm getting a little hot and bothered over here just watching this shit. Hey man, the girl, ask Mike, can you clean out his bank account in Spanish so he can go ahead and reply C? Then you can see your way to the damn bank and take all his damn money. And can't nobody say shit since he told you yes. I bet his ass will crack open that damn Rosetta Stone then. No, me entiendes. Internet is muy malo. Alviado. That moment when you realize securing the bag gonna be harder than you thought. Por qué lo borra? Como. Por qué lo borras? Como. Mike, you evil fucking genius. Now I see your master plan. A man who only ever say two things to his woman. Yes, and I love you. No wonder you punching above your weight class, bruh. Bravo, you smooth motherfucker. Uh, All right, Mike, you finally got one. The correct answer to that question actually was C. Vamos a comer del postre que mi familia te tiene. Damn, y'all, they really got me over here on the edge of my damn seat, waiting with bated breath to see how Mike gonna respond to this shit. The fucking suspense is killing me. What is he gonna say? See, see? Oh my God, yo, I can't believe this shit. I really did not see that one coming. Damn, Mike, you really know how to keep a motherfucker on his toes. Cold? No. You cold? No. No. I am hot because you me. He wants sexy time tonight. Oh my god, would you two motherfuckers please learn another damn phrase other than sexy time? If I got to hear this shit one more damn time, y'all need some damn study time. That's the fuck you need to be doing. Me mother, uh... You have something yeah. you need to tell me? Yes, baby. What? Um... I'd like to nominate this driver for an Emmy, please. This is the most relatable person on all of 90 Day Fiance. He like, oh shit, this shit show is getting good. Where my damn popcorn at? I'm also worried about meeting his family. I'm like really nervous because I want them to accept me and I want them to love me just as much as Hamza does. Eight hours later. Let's get up. Okay, baby. <laughs> Hi. Hamza. Memphis and Hamza, you sorry ass trifling ass bastards. Now you know neither one of y'all ain't about shit. Now if you saw my damn video on Suman and Jenny, you saw I got in their asses about this same damn thing. You can't be coming up in somebody's house disrespecting their culture like this. What you motherfuckers should have been doing in there is busting out some damn flashcards and quizzing each other so you can learn some new damn phrases other than sex at time to say to each other. 1921. That's the year she was born. Oh shit, Jinx. Kim, I'm starting to like you, girl. You got a sense of humor about yourself. 
Mm. Well, why are we here? Like, why are we meeting this woman? It's all about, like, business-wise. You know? Okay. Mm. I want to be supportive of Usman's career, but I only have a limited amount of time with him. He really should be prioritizing one-on-one -on -one time with me. Maybe yeah. I should have just stayed at the hotel. Maybe I should have. Nah, girl, you should have stayed your ass back in the U.S. and spared yourself all this damn embarrassment. So I know why you're here. Uh-huh. But why is Kim here? Just to look pretty? I will tell you what. She, she happened to be a fan. Damn, Kim, you already got demoted? Wasn't you a damn potential girlfriend just in last week's episode? Why don't you go buy him some more toys, see if you can get back up to Superfan at least. My girlfriend, Ella, has a really beautiful face. Oh, God, don't say it, bro. And uh, her personality, I think it's uh, fantastic. Oh, God, he's going to say it, isn't he? But Ella's current size, she's uh, kind of uh, uh, a little big, especially her belly. So, if I can help her with uh, weight loss, I think she gonna be uh, become more beautiful. I love her, and uh, I love that I'm her number one Asian man. Oh my God! You know what? I think this actually may be the most problematic couple in the history of 90 Day Fiance, and that's saying a lot. <laughs> I work in Shanghai city, but uh, currently I'm in my hometown, Jinan city. So that before I go to United States, I can spend time with my friends and my parents, and uh, also my son, Stoney. <laughs> Motherfucker, I know you're not talking. Your damn titties just as big as Ella's is. I'm surprised Johnny not trying to have some damn FaceTime sex with your ass too. In just over a month, my incredible boyfriend Johnny. Oh yeah, girl, he's fucking amazing will be flying over from China to meet me for the very first time. I've had a terrible time with men in my life, so this time I want things to go perfectly. And what better way to make that happen than by manifesting it with witchcraft? Will somebody please manifest my damn remote control so I can fast forward these motherfuckers off my damn screen? Hey, good morning, Alina. Hi. Oh, you brought me coffee? Turkish coffee. Oh, wow. We didn't have sex, didn't even kiss. Really? That actually surprises me. The way you walked in and offered her some coffee in that monotone-ass voice reminded me of the beginning of a bad porn scene. Good morning, Alina. Oh, you brought me coffee? Pizza delivery. I got an extra large sausage just for you. Turkish coffee. Oh, wow. I wanted an American coffee, if you know what I mean. Hell, Alina, I don't even know what the hell that means. Was that your way of trying to seduce some girl? Maybe that's the problem. You need to work on your damn sexy talk game. How was your night? Well, you want me to be honest about it? Yeah. Actually, I was very, you know, upset yesterday. And I went to wash my face for like literally 10 minutes or something like that. And you were already sleeping when I came back. Yeah. Where were my cuddles? So, when are we gonna fuck? My feelings are kind of hurt because I want some affection from him. I like him. It's been 13 years, we always wanted to meet each other and to do stuff with each other and then it finally happens and he just does nothing. Like, it's illogical. No man can turn down this pussy. Do you want me to get the gifts for you now? Do you want to see these? This is my gift suitcase. Caleb, not that it matters, but what the fuck do you have on? You look like you're ready to go sweat into the damn oldies with Richard Simmons now. So... So? How was yesterday? What did you do when you first see so Alina? When did you kiss her? Yesterday you saw the girl that you wanted to uh, saw for 13 uh, years, and then you just fall asleep. Now you know damn well this was a coordinated effort. Alina was like, as soon as this motherfucker get down here, make sure you ask his ass. I'm going to turn down the pussy like this. Mm. Are we gonna let's do cheers? Yes. What the yeah, so disrespectful. I can't. So you make a toast. Toast. Mm -hmm. To my best friend and her best friend coming to Turkey. Wait, what? 
Uh oh, Lena. Look like Kim not the only one that got demoted this episode. You just a friend now. You better quit fucking around before you get demoted to fan next. Caleb, I wanted to ask you about your previous best friends. Mm. That's how you called Alina. Right? Interesting. So how many you had? Elijah, I understand you're trying to be a good friend and all, but if I was Caleb, I'd be paying your ass dust. You know, I don't keep an exact count, man, but mm -hmm. whoever I'm seeing presently is my focus. Caleb, you better than me, because I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know my damn mama was on this damn trip. And I also didn't know my mama was using damn red flavor aid for hair dye. What was your last relationship? Such a mess. How long did it last? Like six, kind of. Around six months. Caleb knows that I was dating, but he doesn't know the whole story. There is something, some secret that I'm afraid is going to ruin everything. I've been living with this ex-boyfriend kind of until recently. He doesn't know that. Now, Lena, I was gonna get in your ass, but Caleb just said that y'all was BFFs and shit, so I guess, you know, since y'all homeboys and all, you ain't gotta tell your homeboy all your damn business who you're staying with and shit. What are you gonna do right now? I'm tired. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. Goodbye, guys. Bye. Have a great time together. Thank you. Have a good time. What the hell's going on? Am I picking up on some jealous vibes? Alina, I'm starting to get a very clear picture as to why you're still single, baby. First night together. It was so good. I was very surprised about Gino's performance. I wasn't expecting him being kind of savage. <laughs> We had such good sex, but it was like, please stop wearing your hat. Gino, I don't know what the fuck you got up under that hat, but it cannot possibly look any dumber than you do right now with that hat on 24-7. You need to just take that shit off and just let your damn soul glow. Just let your soul Oh, this is the Panama Canal. A shot glass or something? With the ship and everything. Yeah. I want to get something from my house. Baby, what if you, instead of having decoration in your house about your old trips, I want to say things that remind me of my yeah. country, not your stupid ex-wife. I, I hate that you know has a past. Uh. I'm also my mother. I have two beautiful baby boys. So when you have their asses in the damn future? Come. One thing I've learned to do is not talk about my axes. But there's things Jasmine doesn't know about my axes. And knowing what I know about Jasmine's jealousy, I worry about what she would do if she ever found out that I was still friends with one of my axes. Gino, I am genuinely terrified for your ass. When Jasmine find out that you didn't disobeyed her strict order, she gon' I'm gonna kick your motherfucking ass. It's gonna be trouble, trouble. Ready to go. Let's keep going. Gracias, baby. Gracias. Hey, gracias. Gracias. Good boy. I'm a big boy. That's a big boy, sir. I'm a big boy.